What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Blue. Oh, what's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue and Red Rescue Team with Neighbor. Say hi. Hi. In the last episode, we um, we went to the Silent Chasm. Yep. Where we saved Mickey and Mikey. Yep. Um. And we're met by a legendary bird of sorts. I'm going to go back and check that out. Click the i-card up at the top of the screen. In today's episode, we're going to go find... I don't know which legendary bird it was. I don't want to give any spoilers, but we're going to go to Mount Thunder. You haven't clicked, on, <laughs> you haven't clicked that last video yet. I might have spoiled it a little <laughs> bit, but if you're excited for another episode, make sure to hit the like button down below and do subscribe to become a member of the Domination. My words are all over the place. Uh, but anyway, today's question of the day. Since we are going to the top of Mount Thunder, obviously we're going to see a legendary bird of some sort. I want to know what your favorite legendary bird is and why. Because obviously that's like really, you could just be like Zapdos. That's boring. So, and why? So I told you mine was boring. My answer is Zapdos. Okay. And that's boring. Uh, the reason it is... Um... So, the reason so is... So you were Team Instinct? I wish I was Team Instinct. I regret every day not being Team Instinct. Right. I'm Team Mystic, sadly. If I was Team Instinct, I would be getting free coins at the gym at my work every day. I work at a video game museum. My boss also plays Pokemon Go, and we are constantly fighting for control of the gym at my, at my job. If I was Team Instinct, like him. Right. We could right. just be chilling. All of my friends that I currently play with our team instinct. And here I am, liking the color blue, I guess. So I went with my second favorite legendary bird in, uh, it's not important, it's not Zapdos. <laughs> Articuno. Uh, Moltres is lame. Sorry. It's so, before I, before I head off, uh, as you can see, we did a little bit of stuff, uh, yeah. and I managed to recruit two Elekids back to back. One of them will have to go eventually, but I think one of them is going to be joining us as we uh, head off. But anyway, yeah, yeah, we are heading to Mount Thunder. Uh, I'll explain more of my reasonings after we get into Mount Thunder and go into stuff. <laughs> I like how Mount Thunder has like thunderbolts. <laughs> anyway, or lightning bolts. Sorry, this is the foot of Mount Thunder. I wonder is Alex is Alakazam's team already on their way? Zapdos. It sounds very tough. I'm cold or shaking. I can't be scared now. <laughs> our objective is simple. We're rescuing Shiftry. Do uh, Dominator, let's try our best. Hmm. So, <clears throat> I like Zapdos the best because as a child I was able to determine. Am I just going straight for the. Should I explore it all? No. <laughs> Not with this 13 floor monstrosity that we're facing. Man, as, as a child I was able to determine that uh, Zapdos. And the other legendary birds. Uh, Zapdos, being a being a electric type, is able to take down the other two birds with relative ease. Throw a, throw a thunder out there, right? Now Articuno can also do that. To Zapdos, because ice speed's flying too, all that. But you get beat up by Moltres. And I feel like there was supposed to be like a duality or like a tri, you know, triangle going on with that. Uh, oh. But Zapdos just beats up both of them. If you get competitive Pokemon uh, in singles, for sure, especially after Gen 4, Articuno and Moltres are nowhere to be found. Stealth Rocks are not their friend. Even in VGC, Zapdos is the best. Powerful Pokemon. All My around, partner is poison. Even moveset-wise, like, first of all, Zapdos was also relatively easy to get when you walked into power plant. Wait, what yeah, when you walked, yeah, when you walked into the power plant, you could get that. You know, before post game, Seafoam Islands was annoying to navigate. That was a nightmare. I hated it. I avoided it at all costs. So there were playthroughs where I never even went to Seafoam Islands. Not once. I'm not worried about Aracuno. All Trace is already in in the at the end game. If you haven't found a good fire type by then, I'm sorry. 
Hmm. But there's not that many good electric types in Gen 1. Uh, okay. Zapdos so, is the best. So I can understand all of it's your both, thoughts. That's great. And, uh, I, I kind of was sitting here. I don't know what I don't know what I was distracted by while you were telling that story. I heard everything you said, um, but my story is not that involved. Um, who's your favorite? We'll start with that. You know, I don't know. Didn't even think about it. I was I was thinking about it, mm-hmm. and that's why I can't decide. Cause like. I was going to be Team Valor because Mm -hmm. I'm naturally a a fire-type trainer. Yeah. Uh, Dark fire... Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this guy chilling here, acting like I ain't got his pre-evolved. Are you able to recruit him? Pause for a second. E button. Go to others. Check recruitment, sir. Can't recruit of all Pokemon. Today I learned. Till. Anyway, um... Because we know you have the right friend area. Right. I have I have <gasps> two L- Oh. Saw TM on the ground and I was like, that's cool. What? Did I keep going or should I explore for TMs? Oh, the TM was Torment. It was not good. I'm going to keep traveling. <laughs> Maybe explore if you want to sell them. They'll oh, be God. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, I'm so not ready for all these electric types. At my Double run. Come with me, this. Attack him. Oh my god, why didn't you attack him? Everything's fine. The Electabuzz was not as strong. Ooh, you guys used Thundershock on me. Dang. Doing some damage. Okay, so. Um, I was going to be Team Valor. Part of that is I'm a fire type trainer. Mm -hmm. Red is my favorite color. And Moltres is pretty cool. I mean, when you think about being the the flame, like, I think Moltres is pretty cool. I think Moltres looks like a like a Thanksgiving meal pulled out of the oven a a little too late. Chicken on fire. I mean, I, I do like chicken. A lot. Really? Ultras is you know the perfect Pokemon to hunt. Because it is a meal already cooked. Alright. Uh anyway. <laughs> when you fall. Now I, I don't That is about the same as a far-fetched. I might I'm I might have to also say that Zapdos is my favorite. I really don't know. I don't know, it's... I'm going back and forth in my mind. Articuno is easily my second favorite just because of how graceful it is, and I think ice is a cool type as a concept. Most of the ice-type Pokemon are cool. Uh, It's just a shame that ice-type sucks. But... Can I just say that Ho-Oh is far better than all of them? I like Zapdos more. I never really liked Ho-Oh that much. I... Unless we're talking about the TCG. Then Ho-Oh is one of my favorite decks ever. Just because it breeds so much creativity, especially early on when, like, what Ho-Oh did, what is, what did Ho-Oh, What is this Ho-Oh that you're thinking of? What did it do? Uh, the Ho-Oh that... The Ho-Oh EX that was able to... Uh, the Ho-Oh EX that was able to rebirth on a coin flip if you get heads... You can bring it from the discard pile to your bench and attach three different kinds of energy to it hmm. from your discard pile. So there are a lot of really cool decks that let you use a lot of variety of Pokemon toolbox decks. Really, really fun stuff. Um, one of my favorite community members in Kyle Pukasukovic, who you probably Pukas- know. Pukasukovic! Yeah, who you probably know. Uh, from commentary at big, big Pokemon events, he piloted that deck really early on, back when like that Hoes first came out and all that. Great success. That was back when Blastoise was a big deck too, and Blastoise Keldeo is also like my favorite deck to play. 
It's just so fun. Man, there were some good times in the Pokemon. Like, right when EXs were coming out. Well, some would argue that that, like, totally ruined things. Because <laughs> Mewtwo was definitely silly. Well, because now the TCG is just like... Eh, it's not. I guess it's not. I don't know. I haven't been in touch with it for a minute, so I don't know how it, uh, how healthy it is. But I really enjoyed the pace that it was at in that period of time. Which I didn't get to fully experience. Maybe I'm wrong. Woo! I, look, look at how much I explored this foot. Look, yours is the same. Yeah. I cannot find this. Ooh. Down here? Please tell me that I can recruit a Gligar. Nothing on my... <gasps> oh, you can recruit a Gligar, like now. Wait. Join me! Oh. I can also... Ooh, is it a race? I want a Gligar! I want a Gligar! I want a Gligar right now! Eat this apple off the ground. <gasps> I made a mistake! Go, Trico! Go, Trico, go! Look at go. all this money I'm picking up! Go, Trico, go, Trico, go! I haven't paid attention to how much Pokey is normally in a little stack of cash. Oh, am I already out of oh, Oregon's? I am. Wait. I, I've, I've not been paying attention to how much is usually in a stack. Have you? No. So I just picked up- <gasps> I'M DUMB! Do you not have driver seeds? Were you not ready? He wasn't ready. Here I am on the ninth floor. There is a Growlithe here. Oh, I can't. I can recruit a Growlithe. I have a fire type on my team and I don't care. Let me tell you, Growlithe would replace Izzy so fast. You know, part of me wants to just use my my uh, save state <laughs> and just go back. Ralph picked up Link Box. Oh, Link Box, where are you at? I'm exploring for that one. I'm ready. I brought the items required for me to explore. Oh no, that means I lost all of the bands as well. Okay. Yeah, that sucks, doesn't it? Oh no. Yes. Yes, I do want Growlithe to join the team. I don't know what I want to name a Growlithe. I'm really boring when I name my Arcanines. I have nothing that I can name. Um. Should I name him Fluffy? <laughs> what would you name a Growlithe? What would you name a Growlithe? I don't know what I would name a Growlithe. I'm sh I'm I'm distraught. So upset. Yeah. I don't know what I would name a Growlithe. Shoot. Fluffy's such a bad name. It's such like a not cool name. Am I ready? No, I didn't go get. I'm naming this Growlithe Tiberius. Can't stop me. Oh my gosh! I can't believe I did that. It was so dumb. Shut up. That wasn't the Growlithe with the link box, though. Hold on. Items. I have to find another Give Growlithe. To me. I have to Items. find another Growlithe. Ah! Patch a scarf. Give to you. Oh, it's not Petra Scarf, it's Persim Scarf. I'm gonna die again! Because I'm using the speed up button. Why are you using the speed up button? Because it's gonna take me forever to get back there. Alright, I found another special band. I can't believe I did. That, that totally could have been prevented. But. Mmm! Yeah, I'm doing a lot of stuff that could have been prevented, too, but I'm expecting my moves to be better than they are. I think, so early on, I haven't been bringing Oran Berries because it's, like, not that useful, but now that Oran Berries heal, like, half of your health instead of, like, a full heal, 
I feel like it's more useful. Is that backwards? The power band. Ah. Uh, Same thing as special, but backwards. Say that one more time. I don't know. I feel like. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Awesome. Because. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I'm hanging on it. It's leveled up. Um, I was saying, I feel like my orange berries are more useful now that they're like half heals instead of full heals. Yeah, I, I meant to use an orange berry. Because I have them. I carry orange berries with me. I don't. I normally don't carry them early game. Um, because I feel like they're less useful. Uh, but then later game, they are. But I kind of like should be carrying them now. At this point in the game, I should be carrying them. Always forget. There we go, Link Box. I think this is like a portable gulp and Link Shop. No! Yeah. Portable gulp and Link Shop. Hold on. I'm in trouble. Okay. There's a Pidgeotto facing off against my Trico. I'm struggling. Hold on. This. This all could have been prevented if I wasn't stupid. What, what even caused you to faint? I don't know! Problem. No, I, I just got hit. Alright, since Domino has to get all the way back, I'm gonna explore and maybe catch me a Gligar. Just crossed? Nope. I can't be upset. I have a Growlithe. How are you alive? Electric has so I'm much HP. poison now! Hey, that wouldn't happen if you had a Petra Scarf. I have a special band for Ember! Let's see. What kind of gummies? Ground gummy. Alright, hold on. I have a Petra Berry. We're good. Ground. I have a Petra Berry. We're good. You had your anime episode. Now it's my turn. For real. I'm so I'm so upset. I'm still considering going back to my save state. All of attack. Don't just attack attack. I need you to use like Ember. Thank no, you. No, don't touch me. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to step forward. Thank you. So what I've noticed. Why are my Pokemon so strong? Why are your Pokemon so strong? What level are you? 18? I just grew to level 19. I'm level 15. What is happening in our games? They make the Nintendo the Nintendo DS version easier? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I've just been going through a lot more. But I've been doing everything. I have such a smart Growlithe that he decided to stop attacking the Gligar when I went back that way. Because he knew I wanted to recruit him. <laughs> And then the Gligar did not get rid of Ooh, look! The TM! It's Return! That's actually a really good TM. But... I just died. <laughs> did you use the... Was the TM that no, you bought? No, it was in the box. It was in the box. Trust me! Between episodes, I found Brick Break. Uh, and so that's sitting in the... Found it in the store bought it yes also between episodes you i don't think you guys have seen it yet but my uh all have learned peck that's fun nothing too this is the guy that beat me last time except i was on a further floor I'm honestly surprised that I haven't been downed by an electric move yet. I know! One thunder punch and you're done! Dunzy. No saving me. I think I brought Reviver Seeds this time. Can you imagine if I didn't bring Reviver Seeds this time? That would be concerning. How far are you right now? Six. Okay. I love how the option... I don't know if you've used it yet. 
the option for max elixir i believe this is the first one i've used so far in the series is not eat it's ingest would you like to ingest a max elixir is this Beedrill gonna circle around this with me oh that would have been so funny all right you know i had hopes of like finishing mount thunder in this episode and then i was stupid and died we might still go for it so i just hit the 10th floor i i kind of knew about it already this is our mid section not a mid riff that's different but the same words <laughs> this is the mid area of mount thunder so i'll take i don't know if i want to save aren't you able to do deposit and all that here maybe does it give you the option to uh it gives me the option to save but I could have sworn that it let me do... Wait, isn't that in future games where... It... Maybe it is. There's like a toolbox or something? Maybe it is, or maybe that's later in the game. This is the first, like, multiple floors thing we've gotten. Um, I remember... I can't believe how far away this is. I was up here, and I have to travel all the way back. It could also be there. Where? There's nowhere else. Look up. Oh, go back to the map. You're missing something. Look at the top. All right, it just goes. It, it, that's not it. Okay. I saw it. I saw the end. So I think I'm gonna wait here. And so normally after these, for those again who have not played these games, normally after these areas. There's only a couple more floors. It's not actually like a midpoint, if I'm remembering correctly. It's not a midpoint so much as it is you're 90% of the way there. You should save before this boss. Kind of a deal. Like, why am I struggling? You're having a lot of problems. It's probably because you're level 15. I don't know why I'm so low leveled. Because like, you were doing too good for a minute. This is the way to humble me. This Kill is me the exact difference between our playthroughs in uh, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Because you were under leveled, and I was like, dang, that's crazy. I'm not using my experience share, but I'm definitely grinding here and there. <laughs> and, uh, Can I stop running into Pokemon? Like, I know, I get it. I'm trying to, you know, grow levels and all this other stuff. And And hungry that's great Metal claw is such a good oh my goodness. that way gravel rock that's the play oh my goodness let's go four seven Do you have an orange berry oh my goodness Do you have an orange berry Mm, Brook. Brook's fine. Brook's a monster. Bro Brook is the best Pokemon on my team. I wish that. Look at this room. Izzy was as strong as Brook. Oh, I'm gonna face this way. Izzy is still. You know you can Ember, right? From there. That's fine. Okay. I didn't know if you knew. I, I have 99 of these. Yeah, you. <laughs> And many, many more in the bo in the storage. Can I, if I throw this this way, is it gonna hit him? We're an experiment. Whoa! That's what I thought. I thought I saw uh, Brooke actually did that a few oh. episodes ago. Brooke teaching you something new. That Brooke just so did 106. <laughs> I get it. That's four times effective and all that stuff. I don't think there's. I don't know how. I don't think it does four times effective. I think it would just be super effective. I feel like it maybe is a little bit more, but it's... Please don't. It's a long stretch. Oh. Eat that apple. You have 20 apples. What does a gold ribbon do? I don't know. No effect. It can be sold for a good price. Well, there you go. Yeah, what do you know about that? That's the nugget. That 
maybe, maybe, may as well have been a nugget. Stardust. Well, now I've fully healed because I had to go around the whole freaking map. Why did I look at? Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. turned and looked forward. The Charmander looked back at you and said, You did this to me. <laughs> right. Turn back to the player. Thank goodness! Finally! Get me out of here! Hey, right. Give You're me a Glygor! Please! I want the Glygor! Oh, you know what? My Growlithe is gone now, I think. <gasps> Give <Okay, I'm> <laughs> Throw a gold ribbon. Ooh, that's <gasps> not good. Not even. Not even. Saw your strat and thought this is suboptimal. I'm not <laughs> joining this squad. All right, I'm pretty sure the the stairs were probably pretty close to where I just was. I hate these branching path ones where it's a long line and there's like yes. a row of room on top room on bottom room on top room on bottom. it's the slowest okay, I'm possible almost, thing to I'm almost to this side so I'm go to this side we're, we're gonna waste our time and just go. they're more annoying dungeons but i don't feel like they're more difficult like just inherently it's just the annoying bits of it that it takes longer to explore makes it that much harder okay i'm not gonna get a growlithe Since I since it took me so long, I'm gonna continue forward. I'm gonna save because if I die, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna come back. Oh, it's so rough. All right, well, let's continue. All right, I liked it. Would you like to go? Yes. Mount Thunder Peak. Ooh, my Growlithe is still with me. That's right. Tiberius knows what's up. Uh, he's still rocking with the squad. All right, now that I've caught up, I'm gonna be using a lot of gravel rocks because that's the optimal strategy. There are still Gligers here, according to my recruitment. Uh, according to my screen, there are still gravelers here. Wiggers. You said grappler. I did not. <laughs> there are no grapplers. In the comment, can you let me in the comment section? What do, I'm just gonna go back and watch it. What do you <laughs> let him know whether he said Glygers? Yes. Or let me know in the comments below if I said Graveler or Gliger. Those are very close to one another. Yeah. If you're unsure of what he said and it's ambiguous, also leave that comment. I have no more room for orange berries. How many apples that I'm never gonna use are eating you right now? I'm eating you right now. <sighs> max belly size increased. Not max belly size. I guess max, but like not. I know what I mean. That's what's important. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode. I definitely wasn't thinking when we just kind of ran ran straight through, but yeah. we'll go ahead and get this part of the... We'll go ahead and get this done. Maybe. I'm going to the floor, too. This one also seems like... It's more open. I like this area. The atmosphere is scary. Um, no, I think I'm just going to point this way and throw a gravel on. Without Brook here, this would be... Oh, I found a red gummy! My squad is so good. My squad is so good. Yes. Eat. Found a red gummy? Yes. I have not found any red gummies. Uh, I don't want to go past that, actually. You can stay there and quick attack all you want. I will happily take that instead of a thunder punch. 
That was the easiest Electabuzz I've ever dealt with. Alright. Actually, I, I don't want Graveler to come. Brunt just grew to level 17. What? Why? I, I'm still 15. <laughs> you were struggling. Woo! I, I found the stairs. Did you, you also found the stairs. And you just found a red gummy as well. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, hold on. This is... Let me be smart. My brain just told me... Can't I see the experience somewhere? Experience... Wait, can't I see the experience to next level somewhere? I don't know. Your summary? Not there. Remember yeah, it says, it says right here. Experience and to next level. Well, I didn't see it. Hold on, let me... Summary. To next level is two. That's exactly what I thought. Let me grow one more level real quick. Oh, I hit that peak. Shoot, two enemies popped up. If I... Can we imagine a world where I die right now? Because I, made, a, I made one mistake on my move. Yeah, that was some subpar movement. I burned him. There it is, level 16. The flame on my tail grew bigger too. Why am I level 16 and you're level freaking 46? I'm trying to evolve post game. <laughs> ASAP. I get burns every time. Proceed. Not thunder. Peak. This this is the summit. Hey, Zapdos, where are you? We came to rescue Shiftry. Come out. Ah! I warn you. I have no mercy for meddlers. God. <laughs> Not scared. Don't frighten me. You. Hey, Zapdos, release Shiftry. We're a Pokemon rescue team. You must be determined to utter such words. Then you shall answer. To my great and righteous fury. <laughs> Why do our partners start one closer? Because our partners are geniuses right, and they're on. ready to scrap. Hold on. And right, I'm going to change the team. S moves? I'm going to take... I should take out Absorb. I'm also going to take out Low Kick and Flail. Did you change IQs or something? Yeah, I set them to specifically uh, check IQ. And you want them to be exclusive move users so they're not just A buttoning a Zapdos. Okay. Go after foe. I don't know if a sleep seed will work on this Pokemon. Oh no! You press E! Ha ha ha! I laugh, but I don't even have anything to throw at him except a gravel rock. Or what, he's not gonna come towards me, is he? Trico to come back. Um, make set his IQ to uh, set his IQ, or not IQ, but set his um tactics to run away, get away. Olive has been soloing this. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take one from your book. Now, go straight back to go together. How many rubber seeds? Enough.
Enough. Tr Trico is gone. <laughs> Trico's like, I'm out of here. Did you win? Yeah. I, I'll, <clears throat> I think I'm going to win, like, this turn. But I just didn't want TJ to... Honestly, when I put myself to sleep, Olive was putting in work. I only needed right, two Reviver so Seeds. So now I'm going to go moves and Ember. I imagine Ember might even take him out. Oh, it didn't. But it burned because I burn every time. My Reviver Seeds were used so that Olive could solo run that boss. <laughs> Pretty much. This is it. This has to be it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, TJ just screwed a level set. Learning a new move? Pursue. Ooh. Get rid of Leer. E Link. Yes. I did it. I leveled up. Yay. This move, this, this jazzy music is nice. I feel like that's how we would say it. <clears throat> what is going on? Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh no. You want more? I'll take you on. Bad idea. We're flying type. Enough! That's enough fighting. I've calmed down. Take Shiftry back. You kids, you've impressed me. But. Things won't be this easy next time. I'll go out, out next time, so you'd best be prepared. Until then, you better hone your skills. I don't know how I managed to... I, I, I can't believe I, I died. I died in this episode. I can't believe I immediately ate a sleep seed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's Shiftry. I like how our, 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 the people that we brought along are just like... Are you okay? Uh, y y yeah. Some, so somehow, somehow I am. I'm glad you're safe. Okay, can we wait for just a second? How come on the screen right now, there are four voices that I do? <laughs> and there's only two for you. Hey, if you count Magnemite on my screen, that's three. I agree. You're awfully strong for a plain Charmander, for a plain Totodile. Totemander. I sensed it when we first met. Perhaps you aren't a Pokemon, are you? Wow, how can you tell that? But you're right, Domino isn't a Pokemon. Well, Domino wait, just isn't... let it slip. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, keep like, your mouth let closed. Let me talk about it if I want like, to. Wait, I thought we said we weren't going to tell anyone about this. Right? Dominator is a human. First you call me weird, then you right, ask to join right. the squad. Now you're letting my secrets slip? What kind of friend are you? I don't like this guy. What? A human? <laughs> Dominator doesn't understand very much either. Dominator woke up one morning here as a Pokemon. And Dominator doesn't remember anything about Dominator being a human. Dominator. He, he woke up one day and then he was in the middle of a fight with a Zapdos. <laughs> right. Oh, wait. Bumper said something in the square. He said Alakazam knows everything. Alakazam, could you figure out why Dominator became a Pokemon? No. I was about to say no no matter what that text right, said. Right. I can't determine that. Oh, I thought you would know. However, there is a way for unveiling the truth. Oh, really? How? Make way to the Hill of the Ancients. There you will find a Pokemon that stares into the sun all day. He's blind. <laughs> I was about to say, you better have some sunglasses on his own. They told him, don't look directly into the eclipse. <laughs> and he said, he is not <laughs> a Pokemon who is said to see into the future. Zatu is his name. He should shed light on your puzzling friend. Just okay. like the sun sheds light into his eyeballs. <laughs> so we should go see Zatu. <laughs> Dominator, let's go. Off to the Hill of the Ancients. Whoop-de-doo. We can't waste any time. Let's go back quick. Shifter, you too. Let's hurry back. Uh, yeah. I guess we should. <laughs> Dominator, don't just stand there. Let's go home. I'm just going to stand there. I'm trying to join that other team.
Ah, uh, Kazan, I know you. I don't think you're completely ignorant about this. You know something, don't you? There is something that concerns me. But it should go unspoken for now. For their sake. Yeah, <laughs> Really, Tyranitar is super background compared to the other two. That's it! That's all we're doing today, because this episode went way too long. Oh! I can't believe I died. Can't if believe. I wouldn't have died... We all have our faults. You died. I fell asleep at the start of a battle. You know what? I died in Mount Thunder. Where'd you die? I didn't die anywhere. Where'd you fail a mission? Wurmple died. A level one Wurmple with 10 HP! It's about protecting those... You know how much HP Wooper has? It's about protecting those... 34! It's about protecting those that are around you. Level one Wooper has I sacrificed HP. myself. Wurmple has 10! I sacrificed myself a so, my, would have lived that so time. my partner wouldn't die. Took 28 damage. If you wound up enjoying today's episode, make sure to like button down below. I know it was a bit longer than usual. I hope you don't mind too much. But didn't really want to cut it up. I think next time we'll probably cut that Maybe, up. Maybe, yeah. Uh, but anyway, in the next episode, we continue on, which I have a feeling they're going to be pushing us towards the Hill of the Ancients. But I guess we'll find out. Uh, again, hit the like button down below. Do subscribe to become a member of the Domination. And check out Neighbor's Twitter in the description. It's I am totally Ryan, they... like forgotten about that in like every episode so far but better late than never yeah <laughs> and we'll see you in the next episode until then spread some positivity and be the light and have a blessed day